so cold today. This morning, it's early. We are headed early this morning to Griffin's dentist appointment. Hoping it's gonna go good. He kinda went to sleep late last night. Like I didn't fully process like when we'd have to be up, I guess. He's really fussy. I'm like out of breath because I was putting all these packages in my car. Anyway, today's my birthday too and I just want to like do nothing today but I have so much to do. I wrote a lot of thank you notes last night. I did not edit my vlog yesterday so I'm gonna try to do that this morning. I just feel like I have no footage because I spent literally all day working on my computer. It's a little early in the game to put up a super boring vlog, you know, that early. Today I'm gonna do a lot of like talking to you guys and hanging out and stuff. The weekends always throw me off sometimes because like, I don't know, I just feel like I chat to y'all a lot better when I'm by myself because I can focus. <laughs> We're gonna go to the dentist and then I'm gonna take these packages and drop them all off. I got a bunch of bags, all those bags in the back of my car. Just relax today. Tomorrow's gonna be another full day of making shirts. Let's listen to some music, Griffin. Get you pumped up, woke up for the, the dentist. Let me know if you hear a song you like, Griffin. All right, Griffin, did you do good at the dentist? Yeah. Did they take x-rays of your teeth? Yeah. Yeah, you were kind of a stinker, but you did so good. I'm so proud of you. Mom, it looks that nasty. The cup holder? Yeah. What are we gonna do right now? Um, teeth first. We're gonna eat breakfast? Hey, no sir, it's cold. What are we gonna eat? Where are we at? And, 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 and Donald's. No, what's this place called? Waffle House. Waffle House. Yeah, Waffle House for my birthday breakfast. That sounded good. Mm, let's go eat some Waffle House, Griffin. You ready? Yeah. I want everything. I'm so hungry. This is my favorite. Cheese and egg. Right here. With bacon. Oh, yeah, this gets perfect. Goes in this one right here. See the, see the X? Yeah. That's where you stick it right there. Who's with us at breakfast? Simba. <laughs> Just pick it up, baby. It won't be hot very long. Is that all good? I'm so tired. I'm in my bed right now with like all my crap. I am working on my planner for the week, just kind of like things I need to do or want to do, stuff like that, trying to keep myself organized. I brought my wallet, my old and new wallet in here to change out, a bag to throw crap away, my old makeup bag, my new makeup bag, so we can do that. In my computer, I started kind of looking at the vlog footage from yesterday. There's not that much at all. <laughs> but um, I'm so tired. Like, I went to sleep so late, even later than, like, Griffin, and got up early, and it's hitting me. And I haven't had any caffeine at all. He's over here just hanging out. We were playing some, like, learning games on his iPad, and that kind of wore me out. So I think I'm going to take a nap. I'm watching the, like, the thing about George H.W. Bush, his funeral is today. Um, so I just kind of was watching that, but I think I'm about to lay down and close my eyes for a minute. You want to take a nap with me? I'm so tired. So just, let's just pause. I'll be right back. And we'll go through my stuff. <laughs> okay, I feel a little better. Just a little. <laughs> I just finished switching over my wallets. So that's nice. My other one, the zipper broke and I could not zip it up. This is like the exact same wallet. Just a little different design. I really like this wallet. I'll throw on a little makeup real quick and then we'll do my um, makeup bag. We'll swap it over. <laughs> I'm just living over here. 
Andy dropped by the house, so Griffin's hanging out with him for a second. So I'm gonna throw on some makeup. Try to feel a little better. I feel like, you know. Okay, I just threw on a little bit of makeup, just a tiny bit, you know. It took me like two minutes to just throw this on. Um, yeah, I feel better. I just been sitting in here. Like this is what happens when you give a mom some time without her child. She's probably going to end up with like a full face of makeup. So I was just kind of playing with some of the stuff that I had in my bag to see what I wanted to like put in my new bag, you know? And just in case we end up doing anything tonight, I don't know what we're gonna do, but I just want to be ready in case um, we end up going to dinner or something. I'm just chilling in my bed. <laughs> I need to go edit yesterday's vlog. Just like fell asleep, you know, and I'm like, I'm so tired. I haven't even eaten lunch. I really want some pancakes. Like that sounds freaking good. I might make some. I'm gonna switch over my makeup bags real quickly. I pulled out some makeup out of my bathroom to put in here too. So I am in love with this makeup bag. So this is the makeup bag I showed you guys on day one of Vlogmas. Um, I got it at TJ Maxx and I didn't know it did this but this is actually really cool. I like that it's not too like you have to use you know it's just like not too too um, invasive but it's there if you want to use the hook and then I like this little bag that this would be good to put your scissors or your tweezers and then I really liked the clear pockets. I've never had a bag like this. I don't know why I just haven't. So I'm going to put probably like liquids and powders or I don't know palettes and I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to pack this up I guess maybe and then show you guys what I put in it. I think I'm going to pull out of here this mess what I want to put in here I want to put brushes in here too really I really want to make this simple though I don't want it to be like a lot of stuff just like my basic what I need kind of stuff you know yeah so I'm like trying to conserve but it's really hard like I need all these lip pencils and brushes <sighs> shut the door please it's loud Griffin shut the door it's loud shut the door Okay, so I just kind of started putting stuff in here. Put over here. Sorry, I guess I should like just film this as I'm going. So I might rearrange it depending on how the it goes. It might work out. You never know. You know when you're doing this. But I'm gonna start with my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I love this palette. Obviously, Griffin dug into that one because you know I haven't used that that much. And then I love this eyeshadow palette. I've been using this last few months. It's just kind of been my go-to. It's the Kylie Sort of Sweet palette. Really pretty. Um, so I like that one. So that's gonna go in here. This is a personalized um, Lime Life eyeshadow palette that I put together. I have two of these four pa four palettes or whatever. Um, I love this one because I use these two shades over here to do my brows a lot. That is what I used on my brows today. It's really easy for me to work with. The shadow's really pigmented. Like I, I've used this for like a year and the shadows are still fully intact. Like there's no, I mean, I've put little dents, but nothing crazy. And then they're all really good, like crease shades in case I need like a good shade for my crease. All right. And then I'm also putting my Cody Airspun powder in there. This is good. I think this is the extra coverage, which I don't like as much. Um, I need to get the regular translucent. I don't really recommend the extra coverage. I don't know. I just don't like it. Also packing this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish I have shade one and two but I'm bringing one because I am fair right now and then see the powders were kind of excessive but like I just want them all I love this little hourglass ambient lighting sorry Andy's mowing and I don't understand I think he's doing it to get rid of the leaves but whatever um this little powder it's really pretty on the skin um so I want to bring that because it gives like a luminous finish this cover fx powder is another loose translucent powder it's really really good this is like a smaller sized one I'm bringing that I don't know why I see I'm bringing because I'm not going anywhere but you know putting that over in this compartment I'm gonna pack my butter bronzer I guess I'll just put blushes and highlights in there too. I'm bringing three blushes and I thought that was pretty good. These are like some of my favorites right now and they're all different shades. So um, you have Mac Fleur Power, which is kind of like a rosy pink. This little one that came, I don't know where this came from. I think it came in a Sephora play box. It's, um, why is my camera having the hardest time focusing? It never has this problem. I know people say this happens with their Canon, but it better not happen to me shade party it's more like a a really good neutral why am i having so many effing issues 
it's just a really good blush that does if you like you don't want it to look like you're wearing like a pinky blush so i'm bringing that one i mentioned on my instagram story that i've been loving this blush by kylie it's from her holiday collection it's the winter kissed and it's just like a really pretty it's what i'm wearing today um it's what i've really just been wearing all the time lately a little like blue based blush so i'm packing up these ones in here right and then i'm gonna throw my highlighters in there i'm just bringing these two the omri the anastasia highlight this I got like whenever she launched it it just came back in stock um, I saw it on Sephora I thought about getting an extra one just because it's really pretty you can make it look really intense or make it look super natural I've been kind of into a more natural highlight lately this is probably one of my favorite highlights I need to get the full size the Becca opal highlight and it's my favorite Becca one of all of them I've used a ton of it but it's just a really pretty light light gold I don't know really pretty though pretty highlight I think that was it for the that kind of stuff I might throw my face brushes on that side I need to clean my brushes first before I pack them up though and then over here I guess I will put let's see my primers the embryo lease I don't really use a lot of primer lately and um, this is one of my favorite primers ever the lay creme concentrate if you have dry skin it's good for all skin types but dry skin this gives like such a pretty finish underneath your skin underneath your foundation. Um, I'm just packing this in case I need it just to have like a poor, fin poor filling primer. I'm like getting super annoyed at my camera right now. I never have this problem. The professional, just an original, or uh, original, an OG. I had bought a full size one of these and the same day I bought it, Griffin took the box and I could not find it. It's in this house somewhere, but I have a full size of this somewhere. And this eye cream, I talked about this I think, um, in a Sephora haul like in a couple of vlogs ago. I'm getting annoyed. The Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and to puff. Really good under makeup. I love this so I'm gonna. So what I've been using, I see you guys comment a lot asking what I'm using. It's this Morphe Continuous Mist. I really like it. The foundations I'm gonna bring that I've really been liking. The Dumb Band Flawless Creator is like my hands down favorite. Um, but I only have it in like a dark shade, so I have to be tan. <laughs> so that I can't use all the time. Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define is really good. I have mine in the shade F8 right up here, but this is a really good foundation. And then um, the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation is one of my favorites. That's what I'm wearing today. I mixed it with some concealer because it's it's darker than my my skin. Then I brought all. I'm bringing all these. I'm, when I say I'm bringing, I mean I'm bringing to my new bag. <laughs> I'm bringing all these new these concealers. Um, the Naked Skin is like probably my one of my favorite, if not my favorite, concealers. I'm really liking this Too Faced Born This Way. But Naked Skin, I just love how it looks. But I have the shade Light Neutral, which I can't wear right now because I'm I'm too fair. But the shade Fair Warm is a really good shade, like yellow undertone. Tarte Shape Tape, just because I don't know. I mean I don't use it that much, but in case I need it. This is in light neutral as well. And I like to clean up the brows with this if I am in the mood to do that. The Too Faced one I'm bringing in the shade Swan. It's got kind of more of a yellow tone. It's one of the, the palest shades. It's what I mixed with my foundation today and I put under my eyes. And then the HD Pro, Con or the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm bringing this because it's cheap and I just don't want to have all these high-end ones in case I just need to throw on some concealer and I don't want to use a high-end. So... Those are what I'm bringing for concealer. I was going to bring a few little eyeshadow thingies. I think I'm going to stick these. Uh, these little Laura Mercier, what are these called? Caviar Stick Eye Colors are really good. I love them. The, these are both in the shade Rose Gold, but they're so pretty, and I love how they just look, and I will top them off with this ColourPop eyeshadow. This is what I have on my eyes today only. I'm um, in the shade Amaze. It's just like a really pretty rose gold. But just to have a couple fun little things that, I mean, because I'll wear this by itself. This is a Smashbox, like, eyeshadow duo that came in a Sephora play box. And I don't know, I just really like this one shade in it. And I'll mix it with my crease color sometimes just to give it, like, I guess because it has um, that, that bottom light pink shade. Mixing that with your eyeshadow crease color gives it a really natural color or a natural finish because the pinkiness it gives it like that it just ties in with your blush I don't know it just looks really good so I love to keep this and the shadows are really really good I keep this in my makeup bag like I always take it from makeup bag to makeup bag 
Cover Shot Golden Hour Eyeshadow Duo Turned On and Psycho. Or Sight. So, I'm going to bring a few mascaras that I love. Um, the Roller Lash by Benefit. The Lime Life Mascara. The Blink Eyelash Black Lash Primer is actually amazing. And then the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara is good. Then I have the Costa Riche MAC Eyeliner. It's just a brown eyeliner. Then I've been loving this nude from this Estee Lauder Estee Edit duo. I don't even know how old this is. I don't even know if they have that anymore. But this is what I have under my eyes today. I've been using it a lot because my eyes just feel so like squinty because my face is so swollen. A few tools, just a Sephora sharpener. Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I cannot do my makeup without this if I'm wearing eyeshadow because this keeps it from creasing in my hooded eyes. The Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Been loving that. This is the gloss I have on today. I usually keep lip products in my little makeup bag in my purse, um, but this is really good. The Gel Gloss Ultra Brilliant Ultra Shine Lip Gel in the shade Perfect Nude. It's really smooth. It's not sticky, and it's really glossy. I bought the full size of this, actually. This came in a Sephora Play, and then I bought the full size. Tweezers, lash glue, House of Lashes lash glue, and a million lip pencils. If you want to see which ones I like, go to my Instagram under the Q&A section, and I showed a bunch that I like. That was fun. Okay. I guess I'm going to finish packing that up. I'm going to clean my brushes with the Sonia Kashuk brush cleaner. It's just like an aerosol can. You spray it and then twirl your brushes on a towel. That's what I'm going to do right now. And it's like, I can't believe it's my birthday. Like, I'm just like doing nothing. It's 320. I really need to edit that video and try to get it up for you guys. I'm having a really hard time with Vlogmas this year. I'm just like, I'm tired. <laughs> and nothing exciting is going on. So I'm not like pumped to edit a video and get it up for you guys. Because I'm like, ugh, I'm so boring. All over there on the floor. Right there is my to go to the hospital stuff i got my bag which isn't packed i mean it's got a couple of things in there um but it's not really packed because i need a lot of that stuff you know and then i have the baby's bag then i have my boppy and that's pretty much it but that's my little area of grab and go over here the diaper changing table and stuff i'll show you all that stuff what do you think blue huh hey big boy i don't know if you can see her foot right here she keeps putting her feet like over here. Little baby. What are you doing? Oh, she is an active one. So crazy. She's gonna be here in like, like my due date is two weeks from tomorrow. What the hell, so crazy. So that's that amazed shadow in my eyes, so pretty. It's like one of my favorites and then that nude liner in the I think it's the shade nude and then I used a lip pencil and that lip gloss the Kylie blush the Aunt Reezy highlight the lime life eyeshadow for my brows the physician's formula bronzer that swan two-faced the powder um, the Cody airspun powder and all I used for mascara was my roller lash mascara I just like I started doing mascara and I was like, darn, I forgot I'm out of makeup wipes. Like, that sucks. Tonight's going to be like, <sighs> okie dokie. I'm going to go um, put all this makeup up and clean my brushes. That'll feel really good to get that over with. So that way, if we have to go to the hospital, like, I can shut my makeup bag. Because this other one, it stays so packed that I can't shut it. And half the stuff I didn't use in there anyway. So, whatever. Alright, I got it all packed up. Brushes are clean. So... I put my mascaras and stuff in this bag. I actually got like all my powders in here and the foundations. And then this side I did my brushes, the spray. The lip liners are underneath this part um, and I bundled them with a hair tie and then my concealers. Really nice, it's like perfect. It's super heavy, but it's still pretty. Look how pretty this bag is. Like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I love it and it's so nice. You need to go see if you can find this. It's the brand Tinder Love and Carry. I love it. And I could hang it if I wanted. I actually ended up brushing my 
Brushes, what in the hell is happening with my freaking lens? It's really getting on my nerves. This is what I ended up brushing my brushes with. Um, I forgot my Sunny Kashuk one was out, but I love this. It smells so freaking good. My spray thing kind of messes up sometimes and like doesn't spray, it like won't come out and I just have to run it under hot water and it works. Does anybody else do that or did I get like a defective one? Cause I don't know if I want to repurchase it if it's like annoying like that, but I really like it. It's not very expensive um, cause you don't need a lot. I mean, you know, it's not like the cheapest one out there, but it works and it smells good. So now I got clean brushes. Eye brushes, spray divides the face brushes. I'm so happy to have this like all put together. Oh my gosh, so nice. Hang all the mistletoe. I'm gonna get to know you better. This Christmas. <laughs>